Hi guys, golf's a pretty complicated game. You have to make a number of decisions very quickly and you're under pressure. You have to think about what club are you going to use? Do you want to hit the ball a long way or do you want to hit a shorter pitch? You have to think about how hard you're going to hit it. Once again, full swing or maybe a little bit more gentle. You also have to think about the undulations of the fairway, the green and also the conditions. It may be windy. All of these decisions have to be made in a very short space of time. Guess what? You're under pressure and you only get one chance. Let's continue with Mark's analogy of golf and look at how SolidWorks simulation tools can help make the right product development decisions or create the perfect golf shot. We'll focus on recreating Tiger's iconic birdie on the 16th at Augusta National in the 2005 Masters. Firstly, we'll need to model up the 16th hole. SolidWorks includes the ability to place a picture into a sketch. This will make sure we can get the proportions of the green, the lake and positions of the bunkers about right. For a distance reference, I've used the Sunday pin position placements, as this gives us a good dimension to use for scale. We can use the sketches we created and make some planar surfaces for the water, green and bunkers. Using a boundary surface and two splines, I can create a good representation of the infamous sloping greens at Augusta National. Tiger overshot the green with his tee shot and ended up behind the hole. Using a simple sketch point, we can plot Tiger's position for his second shot. We can then position our ball component into the assembly at that point. The next step is to use SolidWorks simulation motion to analyse the factors involved in the golf shot. To make this work, we'll need a direction for the ball to travel. Using a simple sketch in the golf ball part, we'll set this at 60 degrees. Tiger's alignment to the hole also needs to be considered, so using a mate we can position this too. In motion we can add an initial velocity and spin rate to make the ball move, but in order for it to interact with the green, we also need to define contact and gravity. Then we need to estimate the friction between the ball and the green which we can do by defining some materials. We have all the factors contributing to Tiger making the right decision first time, however we can be a little bit smarter here. Using design optimization, I can allow SolidWorks simulation to alter all these constraints and optimize them. We'll use a proximity sensor and set this to minimize and then it will iterate within a range until we get the ball as close to the hole as possible. And, uh, Let's take a quick look at the results. 25 feet above the hole. Well, here it comes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow! Testing multiple scenarios works for golfers on the practice ground, but not in the tournament. They get one shot to get it right, and the same is true for product development. There is always a finite amount of time to get things done and a pressure to get things right first time.